So um, now, um, all right, so you decided to build this hotel in Middleburg, and why did you call it Salamander? Oh, this is a great story. So when I moved to that area and I decided to buy the farm where I'm living now, um, there was a guy by the name of Bill Ildesacker who owned the property. I kind of knew the name because his brother was teaching at Princeton or something like that, but he had never really lived at the farm. And he had a name for the farm called Cotswold or something like that, which I did not want. And so I said, who had the farm before? And they said it was uh, Bruce Sunland. I contacted Bruce Sunland and asked him uh, what was the name of his farm before, and he said it was Salamander. And I said, well, where did that name come from? Bruce Sunland was a fighter pilot that was shot down over Nazi-occupied Belgium. His entire unit was captured. He was able to get out. He crossed, uh, crossed Europe and ended up in allied territory of France. He, play, he uh, fought for, briefly for the French resistance. The U.S. then came to him and said, look, we have got to go in and we have to rescue the rest of your unit out of the POW camp. This is a true story, the story of Hogan's heroes. That is Bruce Sunland. That was where the TV show came from. And he says, well, what does salamander mean? And they said, mythically, it's the only animal that could walk through fire and still come out alive, which I loved. But, you know, realistically, if you cut off its limbs, they regenerate. And it just hit, at that time, a nerve with me. And I said, I need that brand. I, and I'm going to brand the salamander. 